Welcome, everyone. Thank you. And uh, uh, welcome to our new impromptu media room here <laughs> in the basement of City Hall. Um, uh, thank you for coming out today. We are here to announce very excitedly a new uh, partnership in the city of Harrisburg for a brand new entertainment community music festival called The Weekender. It will be taking place in Harrisburg on August 17th, 18th, and 19th. And it is a partnership between uh, the city and a number of different organizations, especially the Housing Authority as the fiduciary sponsor and uh, many local community organizations. We're going to tell you all about it. I just want to begin by saying um, the city has been committed to, uh, to trying to move our festivals into the community a little bit more. Um, we tried that a few years back with the Fourth of July Festival, planned that for Reservoir Park. Um, uh, uh, Capone and the Fourth of July seems so branded. Uh, at Riverfront Park that we've, um, that we've kept them there. But this is an opportunity to really utilize our, our crown jewel reservoir park in a, in a meaningful, meaningful way. It also represents a partnership between the administration and city council because uh, it would not, uh, would not have come to fruition were it not for the advocacy of uh, especially Councilman Johnson, Cornelius Johnson, who is here with us today. So we'll take some questions, and there's lots of exciting things. I don't want to uh, spill the beans on all the details. I will let uh, the various organizers do that. But I'm going to begin by handing things over to Cornelius Johnson. Cornelius. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for everyone coming out today. Um, this is truly going to be an exciting event at Reservoir Park. Um, for, for this event, we are partnering with a number of great organizations that people inside our city are very familiar with. Um, the Singers Lounge, which um, has their events every third Sunday um, in various areas of the city, primarily in, uh, at HMAC, as well as Levels Ready Entertainment, which have had numerous um, Harrisburg Music Festival in the park. This is actually be, be the seventh time that they're having it at Reservoir Park. So we were able to really kind of brand this and put this under one umbrella and entitle it The Weekender, um, where we have the city of Harrisburg, Harrisburg Housing Authority, Singers Lounge, and Levels Ready Entertainment working together all in one tangent to put on a great event for our residents here in the city. Um, it's very, very important, I think, in anything we do um, within the city of Harrisburg is to move through partnerships. And this is a prime example how if we um, work together and through partners, how we can um, use our resources together to really produce something um, great for our residents. Um, I remember growing up inside the city of Harrisburg and attending numerous events at Reservoir Park. And I know um, people and different residents I talked to were waiting for a time where we can once again have events inside the park where we kind of relive a lot of those childhood memories. So my hope is that this event is not a one-time thing, but really turns into an annual thing and that residents really come out and pour out um, for this free event inside the park um, with um, these wonderful partnerships that we have formed. Um, now I'm going to turn it over to um, Oche. Um, who represents um, the Harrisburg Housing Authority to talk about um, the Harrisburg Housing Authority contribution um, to affordable housing within the city of Harrisburg and um, why they're participating inside this event. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman Johnson. At the Harrisburg Housing Authority, it's very important for us to further our mission of affirmatively furthering fair housing. And one of the best ways to do that is really highlighting some of the services that we offer to our residents outside of just housing. Services such as um, education assistance, such as health care assistance, and such as career development assistance. We will have an education fair, a health fair, as well as a career fair as a part of the kickoff of the weekender on Friday night in Hall Manor. It's a great opportunity for the wider community to come out to Hall Manor, have a great time, and there's actually free food for the first 300 people. For Saturday, we're moving things to Reservoir Park, and it'll be a great celebration under the Harrisburg Music Festival, which has been doing things in the city for some time. This is their seventh annual event, and this is the biggest and the baddest ever Harrisburg Music Fest that we will have on that Saturday night. So we're inviting artists from around the country right here to Harrisburg to have a great time with our residents here in the city of Harrisburg. On Sunday, it's a great event and it's a great opportunity to showcase many of the stellar singers that we have right here in Harrisburg. 
people travel from Philadelphia, from Washington, D.C., just to hear our local singers here at the Singers Lounge. But this is a great opportunity to enjoy it out in the park. So Sunday will be a great celebration of our local talent, and there will be a special guest who will be performing on Sunday night. You have to come out just to see who that will be. But we are very excited about this opportunity, once again, for us to collaborate and to come together and bring a resource to the city that really highlights a lot of the resources that we already have, as well as mixes some of the communities that normally may not be mixing um, in the city under a great family event of food, fun, and fellowship. And the last thing that we would like to make sure <laughs> is that we highlight some of our sponsors. We would not be able to do this without the generous uh, support of our sponsors, such as PHFA, such as uh, UPMC, such as um, uh, the Hamilton Health Center. These are some of the organizations that have really stepped up and made a contribution, some of them financial and some of them in-kind contributions that have allowed us to bring this forward, as well as our partnership with the city, who has allowed us to be able to waive some of the fees that are associated with putting an event like this on. We really appreciate their partnership on that and being able to bring this event to life. So just, so just to recap, um, Friday, um, August 17th from 4 to 8, we will be at um, Hall Manor Activity Field, um, where we, just as Oche alluded to, we will have a health fair, career educational fair, food, games, school supply giveaway, DJ, and live music. On Saturday, August 18th at Reservoir Park, um, we will be kicking off at 12 o'clock and it will be rolling to 8 o'clock, where we will have um, numerous um, artists. Um, some of the artists that we announced so far is DJ Diamond Cut, Cuts. Um, Sarak, um, Zariah, and many, many more. Sunday, August 19th, we're actually going to start the day off um, with a Unity basketball tournament that will be located at our basketball courts. Um, and then we will kick off with the Singers Lounge, which will start from 4 to 8 um, with a special surprise guest. So once again, we want to bring all of our residents out to this wonderful event. And if you want to find out more information on this event, feel free, free to follow us on our social media. Um, the Weekender. If you look us up on Facebook, you can find us there. You can also um, email us for more information for any type of vendoring opportunities or even possible um, sponsorships. And that is, that is at um, weekenderhbg at gmail.com. So at this time, we'll open up to, for any questions. Let me introduce everybody. Oh, yes. All right, so to my left, uh, we have Onward Curtis, and he represents Level Ready Entertainment. Um, to right next to him is Sharina um, Johnson, and she um, is going to be working with Levels Ready Entertainment to put on the Unity um, Basketball Tournament in Reservoir Park on Sunday. Um, right next to her is Eris Smallwood. Um, she is part of the Singers Lounge. She's actually the founder, CEO, and creator of the Singers Lounge, which is a beautiful event. So you, if you haven't checked it out, this will be an opportunity to check it out for free within the park, um, but they also um, are having it um, multiple times throughout the year. And to my right, we have Oche, Mayor Pappenfus, and then we have uh, Miss Jennifer Smallwood, who's also um, part of the Singers Lounge. Business manager. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> any questions? Is the city using any public dollars for this? Is it all partnerships and donations? I can address that. Yep. Uh, the answer is no, the city is not using public dollars for it, although there will be staff time. Uh, there will be cleanup associated, there will be potentially some security associated, and we've waived fees. Uh, the other investment that the city has made is we've uh, done a wonderful job renovating the band shell. It's looking beautiful, so we're going to you know, try it out with all these melodious uh, singers, and we're going to, um, we also have new lighting, and uh, we've, uh, we've worked on improving the basketball court, so it's an opportunity if people haven't been out to see Reservoir Park lately, I think um, that's, uh, we're getting to showcase the park a little bit as we're doing it. So you've got um, fun, fellowship, food, all for free, and in uh, a beautiful, um, wonderful historic park setting in Harrisburg. But uh, the, uh, the main money has been raised through the Housing Authority and through the sponsors, which uh, were already mentioned. Any other questions? Uh, why is it important to bring these events to these locations? 
So uh, I, we can all address that. I, I'll start by saying I think it's important that we utilize our, our resources in the city, and Reservoir Park is, is one of our great hidden resources. We're, we're getting ready to invest um, what we hope will be millions of dollars into a, a, major, um, a major program to renovate that park and to make it even more, um, more of a showcase for the city. And uh, it's centrally located and it has the opportunity to really bring people together. So um, between food and music and um, all, of, uh, all, all of these other opportunities, I think it will bring people out. It's sort of a, a homegrown festival. You know, Capona and uh, 4th of July are wonderful and they attract 55, 60,000 people really from around, uh, around the region. And this will attract people from around the region as well, but it's also fundamentally about the community right here in Harrisburg and celebrating the talent uh, which we have right here in Harrisburg and uh, um, you know sort of putting that on a, a wide stage for everyone to see. Anyone like to add to that? I think you've got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. How many attendees are you preparing for? Just well, for our inaugural event, we're expecting in excess of 10,000 people over the weekend of the weekender. So we're really um, right now, as we look at our tickets online, it is a free event, but there is an opportunity to go online and get tickets at Eventbrite uh, at uh, weekenderhbg.eventbrite.com. Once again, that's weekenderhbg at eventbrite.com. What we have seen through the tickets that have already been reserved is we're neck and neck with Philadelphia. So we are expecting people from across the region and have been attracting people from as far as uh, uh, Miami, Florida. So we are looking for a great event. Uh, but this year we're expecting somewhere around uh, 10,000 people over the weekend. So if someone wants tickets, will it be capped? Will the attendance be capped and tickets are first come first served again? No, the, the, the ticketing for us is really more about us being able to give communication, especially in the event of a rain date. If there is inclement weather, we do have an alternate location that we will have. And once, once again, the ticketing really gives us that opportunity to communicate last minute changes to anyone who's uh, expecting to come to the event. Do you recommend people bring blankets and chairs? Probably? We absolutely, absolutely. It's in the parks and it's at Reservoir Park, so we definitely want you to bring your chairs, bring your blankets, uh, plan to have a great time, a great day out at the park. In past years, how many people has the Harrisburg Music, music Festival brought? The festival has been going on for seven years. <coughs> Over the past uh, six years, we've uh, capped about a little under a thousand throughout the uh, entire weekend. Um, the, these last two years, we have we've had uh, really bad weather, so that's kind of hindered the uh, success of the uh, attendance attendees. But generally, that's uh, been the the uh, amount about really little under a thousand per uh, per weekend. Okay, then I, I yeah, one last thing. I do want to. Um, one of my fellow colleagues who is a um, part of this planning committee, she couldn't make it today, but um, President Wanda Williams has been a very, very strong advocate for us and helped us sign some of these sponsors that we have currently. Um, she sends her wishes and um, she's also very, very much ecstatic for this event, so I wanted to share that with everyone.